How's it going guys? So if you've been using Blender for a while, I'm sure you've come across add-ons at some point. This called a world of like plugins, we call them add-ons here in Blender. Um, there's a lot of free ones, there's a lot of paid ones, there's a lot of good ones and a lot of bad ones. Um, and I really love to review really good ones, really ones that I love that stand out. Uh, and today I wanna to talk about two professional add-ons that are really awesome. And when I say professional, I mean they are just a large suite of incredibly professional content, and by professional I mean high quality, and also um, professionals also dictated in price, all that stuff like that. Um, so today I wanna to review two just game-changing add-ons for your workflow. So the first one is called Grass Blade, and this one is a massive asset add-on with 550 assets right now. They re recently did a really big update um, and it's just got so much really cool stuff. And the way it works is you have some geometry and you'll go ahead and pick a biome, a type of uh, grass, and you just go ahead and place it and it will randomly place it within your scene. And there's a lot of ways to edit what you're looking at. So say you just pick one type of grass, you could say how much or how little, the size, the randomness, um, It's there's so much to go with. And the whole idea behind this add-on is almost like stacking different types of biomes and, 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 and uh, vegetation to create your own custom environment in a sense. And so you can really mix and match and there's close to just infinite variety of what you can make for your scene and the way it works is you have all these categories you go ahead and pick like dry grass pick that let's go ahead and a little add some rocks let's go and add some tall grass add the tall grass and it works on any amount of geometry of course most appropriately it'd be on like a ground or maybe a slightly uneven ground but it works on any amount of geometry. I actually did it on my logo here where I went through and I picked different biomes and added them to it where now my logo is something I've never imagined that I could do this quickly. And again, 550 assets. The What B Production, B Production created this add on. Um, B Production is uh, has done here is amazing. I don't think anyone's made an add on that has this much stuff in it. Maybe Extreme PBR, I believe, had a lot of stuff too, but this is one of those add-ons that is so substantially large that the price for it is like totally fair. Um, and this is something that any professional should have in their tool belt if they're working with something that would appropriately need vegetation and stuff like that. It just makes your job instantly faster. And look at the quality of the assets that you're given they're incredibly high quality. I know I'm not saying anything bad about this add-on, but there's nothing really bad to say. Uh, I was not asked to review these add-ons. I'm not sponsored by B Production. I just think these guys are amazing. I've reviewed two of their add-ons before. The quality that they output on these add-ons is just unmatched, and I love talking about them. I mean, the field category is impressive just alone. I mean, you have like rice, tomato, pineapple, all that stuff in these fields where you can create, you know, a field, like a, like a garden, different things like that. It's just, I, I can't, I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but it's really good. And it shows, the, the product speaks for itself and it's really good. You can check this out on Blender Market right now. Um, it's currently available, it's been out for a while. It's a bestseller, it's awesome. Um, I couldn't say a lot of more good things about it, but I think I've said enough. Grass Blade, it's awesome. All right, let's talk about Gardener. Um, this one's also made by B Production. It's very similar to Grass Blade, but this one's more specific, very specific workflow. Um, so this add-on certainly isn't for everyone, but for the people who it is for, it's a game changer. Uh, so you can take pretty much any object and turn it into a hedge. Um, and there's tons of different types of hedges. And in fact, I didn't know there were so many types of hedges and stuff like that. So if you're designing uh, architectural exteriors and you need to do gardens, Gardener is going to save your life. Uh, you again, any object you can see here. They use an elephant shape and created it into a hedge, and that's something you see quite a bit, especially in sort of high class, upscale gardens. You're going to see very artistic hedge art. So I here again, I took my logo and I turned it into a hedge, and it's incredibly easy. Very similar workflow to grass blades. It's very easy to understand, very easy to apply, and again. This certainly isn't for everyone. Not everybody is using hedges, but if you are doing exterior architectural or you know even gardening, whatever, this is as high quality as it gets. The assets are super, super high quality. So it has 350 assets. What you'll do is you'll go ahead and pick your biome, pick your hedge in a sense, and then 
just say you know you don't want it to float, but you also want to sit on the ground. You have a large list of super high quality trunks that you can add to it, um, which is just crazy. So they added these trunks again. The quality is there. You can zoom in, and the quality stays. It's not some thing you have to go and search the web. You know, when I'm looking for something, even for type of workflows where I was using with uh, where I wasn't using Grassblade. I had to scour the internet for usable assets. I'm sure you've been there where you you probably spend about close to 20, 30 minutes looking for one, two, three, oh, this one doesn't work, this one doesn't So these really cut that workout, which is why I believe the price is totally fair for these add-ons. They're at a professional level, so they're, they're not entry level add-ons, they're professional add-ons for professionals. So I think that's what makes these appropriate for the price they're asking for and the amount of content they poured into this is Unbelievable. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how big the team is. It can't be one person. If it is one person, amazing. But these add-ons are crazy. One thing I really love is that you get control of the materials here with Gardner. So you, so it comes with these really cool group nodes where you can change randomness, the time of year, color, all that is within this group node. It's very, very cool. They also help you optimize your viewport with proxies, just one click, bam, you have proxies. And that's really gonna help your viewport performance because as soon as you click and move things around, it starts to lag. It's just not an enjoyable experience. Uh, Gardner made sure that you have the ability to kind of have a better viewport experience with all of these crazy assets. My last thing to say about this is they definitely made sure realism is in the picture here, of course, with the high quality assets, but also a hedge isn't always perfect and full. So they actually allowed you to create kind of holes in your hedges and kind of edit that where those holes are. So they really made sure they thought about everything. Attention to detail is very real on this add-on. Uh, but with that being said, that is the two add-ons. Uh, B Production, I have a great relationship with those guys. I love what they make. Um, I only review add-ons that I believe in. I've never been sponsored by an add-on. Uh, and this stuff is just completely vouched for it. It's super cool. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like these add-ons. Feel free to get them linked in the description. And let me know what you think. See you in the next tutorial.